What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Gathering the Magic here, bringing you Splinterlands content whenever I'm awake. Um, I never stream, whether it's Tuesday, Thursday, or Sunday morning. So you can come by and say hello, but I'll probably either be playing Splinter Forge, or what I will be doing right now is opening a Chaos Legion pack that I just got from converting, you guys know the drill, played Splinter Forge, uh, killed the bronze boss, got the forge, converted it over to DEC, bought a pack, sent it on over. So we have, this is my, I believe, fifth Chaos pack that I'll be opening um, on this $10 account. Um, went with the pack other than um, gold foil commons. I will be doing that at some point and also will be doing uh, beta cards. But just had a feeling about a pack. I mean, there's so many cards that I need. I don't have any legendaries. Um, I only have a couple epics. And even the commons, I don't have leveled up to three. So got the one pack to open here. Got fingers crossed. Hopefully we can get something good for the account. And here we go. So pack number five. Courtesy of Splinter Forge. So let's see what we get. Starting with a Crypt Beetle. We've got a rare Demon Shark. Okay, love that card. Definitely want to level that card up. Benari Scout. Mycelic Morphoid. And finishing up with a Chaos Knight. So just a standard pack, but that Demon Shark is very good. So let's take a look. Whoops, wrong tab. Let's take a look at the account. And see what we have as far as cards for Chaos Legion. Okay, so let's look at Chaos Core. So we got a Demon Shark. So we have two, so we need three more to level him. Venari Scout, we've got him a couple of times, so just two more. He will be leveled up. Let's look at Owned. Let's look at Commons. So these are the Commons that I own. So just a couple gold foils that I have. So right now, Cruel Cethropod. So if I was just going to target gold foils that I want to get for this account that I play a lot, um, Deep Lurker would definitely be one. Uh, probably Antoid Platoon. Uh, Goblin Psychic. Got a couple gold foils in life. Maybe Chaos Knight. I honestly don't play life a lot, so not sure what else I would get there. Silent Chevy. <clears throat> I bought that because I use that all the time. Maybe a gold rift wing. I do use rift wing from time to time. Uh, probably for gold commons would be the scabo because then he would be level three, so that would be helpful. Uh, Chaos agent, I think level three. By level three, I think he gets dodge. So actually, any of the neutrals would be great at level three in gold. Okay, so he gets dodge even at level two. But yeah, gold would be yep even better with that extra extra life point so nothing too crazy out of that pack so maybe i should have gone for gold commons but it's always fun to open packs uh, maybe next time i will go for some cards off the market let me just check real quick to see what are gold chaos core cards going for so for commons the most expensive <clears throat> common is actually scavo hireling i knew deep lurker would be up there <clears throat> but still that is cheap $1.47. dollar 47 so that's a little bit over the cost of a chaos pack so it's like okay either buy a chaos legion pack see what you get or i could get anything from basically a chaos agent on down so if i got some of the cheaper ones i could get probably two or three of them i only need one copy of each since that will be max bronze um, but yeah, the ones I'm going to target are definitely Scavo Hireling, Deep Lurker, Chaos Agent. Yep, all the top ones. Flying Squid, probably not so much. Antoid Platoon, Disintegrator, already have Silent Chevy, Rift Wing. So maybe we'll do that next time. And then other than that, um, as you guys know, um, there's so many beta cards that I want to get. In fact, I started putting some notes down. So these are cards that I want to target for my $10 account. A lot of them are under a dollar. Um, the Probably the most expensive ones are, I, I think chicken is a must have. If, if you're going to play at any tier, you've got to have chicken. Just the zero cost. You can fit it anywhere. It's neutral. It's just 
you know one of the best cards to have that's cheap but i think the chicken is still eh, 2 250 but a lot of these other ones that you guys see on the list are all under a dollar so all these beta cards here and these untamed are going to be the ones that i'm going to target um, a lot of them like i said are a dollar or less so these will be the next things i probably target now that i had my fun open my chaos pack and realized that's why you buy singles and and not packs but just that chance of getting an epic or legendary was just too good to pass up especially with chaos packs being so cheap okay guys there you have it i hope you enjoyed the video um as always, thank you to all the subscribers. If there's any content you would like me to upload, please leave those in the notes below. Um, until then, I will be playing Splinter Forge. We'll be grinding the next boss. And um, probably in the next three days or so, um, we'll do some more shopping and pick up some more cards off the market. Uh, I will do an update video um, probably sometime tomorrow on the new Splinter Forge account, the Common Hero. We are currently up to. Um, right now I'm on day five. Um, I've earned, I think I'm around 600 and some forge right now. <clears throat> so the first thing that I'm going to target with this account is going to be a faded emerald, which costs somewhere 900 range. So it'll be a couple more days for that. Um, but yeah, I will be doing a common hero update video in the near future. So thanks for watching guys, and I will see you again soon with another video. Take care.